Hello friends, welcome back to High for Games. My name is Joseph, and Sony released this past week the PlayStation Wrap Up for 2021. And in case you didn't know, they have been doing this for a few years now. It's the website where you log in with your PSN account and they give you like what's your top game for the past year, how many hours you've played, how many trophies you got, and the breakdown for each of the trophies, and a bunch more stats. So this year you have to go to wrapup.playstation.com and you got until February 20. And if you do that, you're gonna get a code to redeem for four PSN avatars. So I thought I would share with you guys my results here on the channel. I haven't seen them, so I'm gonna react to them here. And I'm gonna try to predict them based on my results from the previous year. So guys, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know your feedback. And in the comments below, tell me what were your stats for 2021, how many hours you played, what was your top game and how many trophies you got, how many platinums you got and if you managed to beat your previous year. Also subscribe for more PlayStation videos like this. So let's get into it. All right, so before going through my stats, as I mentioned, I was gonna show you my stats for the previous year, which were 2020s. So I played 100 games. My top three games were Borderlands 3, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. My top genre is Action Adventure, which is what I mostly play here on the channel and 656 hours for that I played over 1300 hours and that's in about 250 days then I got 1052 trophies broken in 15 platinum and then you see gold, silver and bronze uh, my top PS5 game then was the Evil My Cry 5 which I played here on uh, streams it was the special edition and I played it until I got the platinum I played uh, about 105 hours uh, when, after the PS5 release, got uh, around 279 trophies. So now I'm gonna try to predict what are my results for 2021. So I think that overall in 2021 I played less games, so this is probably gonna be less than, last, than the previous year. Uh, my top three games, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, got the platinum in that and play, play through all the DLC, so I think that's gonna be my, my first. Then I also played a lot of Resident Evil Village here on stream until I got the platinum, that I think is gonna be my second. For the third one, I think I think it's gonna be Marvel's Avengers, because that's, it has a very time consuming platinum which I, which I got in 2021. Um, and then I don't think it's gonna change that much here in Action Adventure or probably a little bit more hours maybe in both. Uh, probably the same here in days. I think I got more trophies though. I think I did... I, I got more trophies. And because I know that at least for Platinums I got 18 so I beat that and I'm not pretty sure how it's gonna be for the rest. For my PS5 game, I think it's probably gonna be Resident Evil Village. Alright, so with that I'm gonna check my stats for 2021. Here we go, 2021 PlayStation wrap up. Check out your accomplishments as well as global community stats from PlayStation gamers around the world. So I played... Last year you played for 1400 hours, over 1400 hours. Take a look back to see what game worlds you spend the most time in and what type of what type of gamer you were. So I beat my previous time. Your hours breakdown looks like time well spent. So I got 421 hours on PS5 and 980 hours on PS4. That's 30% and 70%. 70, 70%. Over a thousand hours, almost 1.2 uh, 1000 hours were played locally and 233 hours were played online over 300 hours played which I that means I also beat my my total days played from 2020 zero hours in VR I don't have VR yet okay so we have some dead stranding global community stats In 2021, you played 55 games. Well, I, I knew that I, it was going to be less games than tw in 2019, 2020. I mean, here's all the new places you have ex you explored, characters you met, and worlds you saved along the way. 
So my number one game of 2021 is Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Standard Edition. That's gonna be because of the Resident Evil event that they ran. And I also did a lot of the reruns for the seasons. I was not expecting it, it to be this one. I think it was my 2019 top game, but then I didn't play it that much in 2020. I didn't expect it was gonna be that one. Then Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the one that I was expecting, I played 187 hours. Marvel's Avengers that I was mentioning for the Platinum, 96 hours. Then Resident Evil Village, 81 hours. And Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, 68 hours. So I got them right, but on the wrong spots. Okay, more community stuff from Returnal, so people pick the whole seeker. I mean, that's the best weapon. <laughs> you have added to your collection 979 new trophies. Wait, so I got less trophies this year, in, at least in total. Check out how all your trophies break down. So I got 19 platinum. I knew I, I got more platinum trophies. 81 gold, 184 silver, and 695 bronze. Oh, I, I, I thought it was gonna be more, but well, at least I beat my, my platinum uh, count, which I always try to get like at least a couple more than the previous year. Hey guys, quick interruption here. After I recorded the video, I thought that it would be cool to show you also what were the 19 platinums that I got in 2021. So I have it here on PSN Profiles. I got Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales, the PS4 version. Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Uh, that's the second time that I get the Platinum for that. Also, I have it also on the original. Then Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Kind of frustrating because of the online trophies. And the online was pretty bad back then. I don't know how is it now. Then Space Other Charlie. That's an indie highlight that I, I have here on the channel. All guys, Resident Evil, the PS5 version. I still have to go back to get the PS, PS4 version as well. Then Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, WWE 2K20, Ghost of Tsushima, the Director's Cut, then Life is Strange 2, um, Death Stranding, Director's Cut, A Short Hike, which is another indie highlight here on the channel. I, ha I have also some uh, video guides about it. Marvel's Avengers, which <laughs> that was a huge, huge, gr huge grind to get like two trophies, and then also the PS5 version with Auto Pop. It takes two. Then both Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order um, on PS4 and Auto Pop on PS5. Overcook All You Can Eat, and well, this is the first one for 2022, which is Mafia: The Definitive Edition. So those are my 19 platinums. So back to the video. We got more stuff from Ratchet and Clank. In 2021, there were 37 monthly PlayStation Plus games. And well, this tells you how many you claim. I think I claim, well, I claim 86% of them because I think I had already Days Gone and I had some of them by the time they were added to the PlayStation Plus library. More community stuff. And this is where you get your avatar, your code for to redeem uh, your avatars for your PSN profile. So those are my stats for 2021 on PlayStation. Again, I was not expecting the division to be my number one game. Now it makes sense that I didn't get an, as many trophies. I played a lot more hours, but on games that I already have the platinum. So uh, it was Tom Clancy's the division, my number one, and then. Marvel's Avengers was a long grind for like two trophies. So yeah, everything makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this lineup. I, I mean, it was a pretty good year for what I played, even if it's not like the most recent stuff. One that is not here is Ratchet and Clank, which I also played a lot on the channel until I got the Platinum. Probably gonna be my number six or who knows. But yeah, pretty good year. Again, let me know in the comments below how many hours you played, what were your top games, and how many platinum trophies you got. If you managed to beat your previous year, 
So yeah, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know your feedback. Subscribe for more PlayStation videos and I'll see you on the next one.